Well hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video I'm going to go ahead and talk about the CDM, another one of the great buildings in the Great Building series. Uh, CDM, Castel del Monte, I believe, or del Monte, or however it's pronounced. Um, I'm sure I butchered that. <laughs> but this is a, a late Middle Ages great building in Forge Vampires. Uh, the big advantage of this building here, uh, it gives you some, it gives you some FPs, which is nice, especially early on. Uh, but its real true value is going to be the attack bonus. So here you go. Here's a picture of it. It's a really cool looking building. Uh, it doesn't take up too much space. I believe it's a five by five. Uh, so and it gives you a daily, daily FPs and some, some uh, all the time attack bonuses. So let's talk about that. So first off, let's take a look. Here it is in the wild. I've got it hanging out here next to my uh, whatever this thing is. This is my blue galaxy, and then this is my uh, black tower. Um, but yeah, a little five by five tucked in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about what it has to offer. So I jump over here to I'm at uh, the Forge Vampires wiki at uh, uh, forgevampires.fandom.com. Great resource. Uh, so you see here, it's a great building. It's late middle age. Construction costs aren't too expensive. Uh, by the time you're up to LMA or uh, or higher, depending on when you when you place it. But you're looking at 270, 170, 140, 150, 270 for the construction goods for late middle age goods. Uh, it is a five by five, and it does need to be connected to a road, just like every other great building. And here's the two properties that it offers. It offers forge point production and then a passive military boost for attack, uh, which is great. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about that. So at level one, you get up to level one, you get a 3% attack boost, plus you get an FP every 24 hours. Pretty cool. It takes a little bit. You got to get to level three. You get these later eras as you start to move up through the eras. Um, the FPs don't pay out. They don't increase every, every level um, oftentimes. So uh, with some exceptions, we'll talk about that later. But uh, let's see. So you see, we kind of go up here. You look, get up to level ten, which is kind of that base default without having to use blueprints again. And you're talking about a thirty percent attack bonus, which is pretty substantial, plus six FPs. So, and then you kind of go from there. Uh, you can continue to to grow both. Uh, so. That's kind of what we have here. So that's the real, uh, the beauty of this. This is one of those great, great buildings, uh, no pun intended, that people like to build, uh, like to build and like to build early because you'd like to stack those attack bonuses. And uh, that helps out all in all just in regular daily play in um, uh, Guild Battleground. It works, works helpful for the continent map. It works helpful for Guild Expedition. Um, anywhere you can get some attack bonuses stacked up, it's it's beneficial. So that's the beauty of this building. It's easy to get. It doesn't take up much space. The blueprints are very plentiful. You see them all over, um, especially by the time you're kind of moving up through the ages. And odds are if you're in a guild or even a neighborhood, depending where you're at, era-wise, you're going to be picking up these blueprints just organically. So... Uh, it's cool, and I've got uh, tons and tons of blueprints. You can accumulate them, and you can unlock levels. I playing a little game here where I unlock all the way up to level 64, plus I probably have enough for another 30 levels. Uh, but <laughs> uh, I'm not too worried about getting sniped if I did a 1-9 on this. Um, but it's going to be a while before I get there. That's a whole separate conversation in another video. So <laughs> that said, um, that's the CDM. So if you like this, uh, if you're interested, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel to get a little more uh, visibility and help out more players. And also, if you're interested in helping a guy out, I put a link down in the in the description for uh, it's an affiliate link for Amazon. So if you shop at Amazon and you're interested in just using that link, um, sometimes that can help. You know, throw a few coins my way if you buy anything from Amazon. It's totally anonymous and all that stuff. If you're familiar with the Amazon affiliate links, um, it's just a general link. It's not even to a particular item. But uh, it would be really helpful, you know, if if anybody would be kind enough to use that. Um, I'm probably never going to get monetized from YouTube. But not that this isn't about the money, but it would be nice because I'd like to get a, a better headset with a better microphone. Um, so it kind of help with that someday. So, sorry, don't mean to be, you know, sitting here panhandling out. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Have a great day. Got more great buildings coming. I'm uh, kind of working through the list. I'm doing two a week. So if you're interested in continuing to see those coming in, uh, you know, like I said, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions for other videos, please leave them below. I uh, really appreciate it. I have some uh, feedback and suggestion videos coming as well. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.